Tory MPs fear who the BBC is lining up to replace Laura Koonsberg once she steps down from her role as political editor. It has been claimed the current face of the channel's political coverage is ready to hand over the mantle to someone new. The Scot is thought to be preparing to step away from her role of the past six years to take on a new challenge with the broadcaster. But reports of her move, first cited in The Guardian, have Conservatives fearing the BBC will replace her with a journalist sympathetic to left-wing politics. I actually thought Laura was the fairest of the bunch to be honest, one MP told Daily Express. Clearly, their executive editor comes from a left-wing background, and people tend to recruit in their own image don't they? I doubt it will be anyone whose appointment will be greeted with glee by the government. Jess Brammer is the former editor of HuffPost UK and took on a role at the BBC as executive editor last month. Previously a vocal critic of the government and of Brexit, a number of MPs believe public political opinion should have ruled her out of the job. In her role she will oversee the BBC's domestic and international news channels. Wokingham MP John Redwood said, Can we please have someone who understands the whole range of opinions in the debate and gives a fair balanced treatment of them? Ms. Koonsberg's departure from the BBC has not been confirmed by the corporation. Speculation about her future comes in the same week that the broadcaster's North America editor John Sopple said he is returning to London after seven years abroad. Some have suggested he is being lined up to take over the political editor role. A BBC spokesman said in a statement, the North America editor role is currently being advertised internally and the role will go through the normal recruitment process. It's a bit soon to start speculating about the outcome of this, let alone other jobs which aren't actually vacant. Daily Express has approached the BBC for comment on accusations of bias. The broadcaster has defended Jess Brammer from criticism of her appointment in the past. Last month BBC chair Richard Sharp said, People are entitled to their fears and concerns, but it doesn't mean they're right. Appearing in front of a select committee of MPs, the BBC's Director General, Tim Davey also stood up for the new executive editor. One thing that has been confusing about this affair, I think, is that if we started judging people about previous tweets, previous comments, when you enter the building, I've put it as my number one priority and you can debate how I'm doing on that, impartiality is sacrosanct, he said, we need to hire the best at the BBC and we need to hire across the political spectrum, he said that while people were free to voice political opinions prior to joining the national broadcaster, it was vital that when they get here they leave them at the door.